in this video we are going to discuss permutation so there are few basic terms associated with the concept of permutation so let's talk about those terms first first let's talk about fundamental principle of counting so the fundamental principle of counting is if a job can be done in m ways and another job can be done in n ways then both of the jobs together can be done in m into n ways this is called fundamental principle of counting for example a man has to travel from a city x to z via a third city y in such a way that he may travel from city x to city y in two ways either by bus or by train and then from city y to city z in three ways either by bus or by train or by air then number of ways in which the men can travel from city x to city z in 2 into 3 ways or 6 ways now we will talk about a very important concept involved in the study of permutation and combination and that is factorial notation for any natural number n factorial n which is denoted by n and sign of exclamation which is read as factorial n or an l like symbol n both are used uh, for denoting factorial n and it is defined as factorial n whether you use this notion for or other one notion factorial n is equal to the product of all the natural numbers from 1 up to n product of all the natural numbers from 1 up to n is said to be a factorial n so for example factorial 2 is 1 into 2 that is equal to 2 factorial 3 it means product of all the rational numbers from 1 to 3 1 into 2 into 3 that is 6 factorial 4 that is product of all the natural numbers from 1 up to 4 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 that is 24 factorial 5 1 one into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 that is 120 and so on 
some important tips about factorial notation. Number one, factorial n, which is denoted by factorial n or sine of exclamation or other symbol of factorial, which is L like notion. This is defined only for all n belongs to non-negative integer or we may say whole numbers. When n is a non-negative integer or a whole number, then only a factorial is defined. That is, a factorial is not defined for any fractional number like uh, 2 upon 3, 4 upon 7, like that. Neither it is defined for any negative integer like minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. It is only defined for all non-negative integers. That is factorial 0, factorial 1, factorial 2, and so on. Second, as you know, factorial n is equal to product of all the natural numbers from 1 to n. We may write it as 1 into 2 into 3 and so on to n. So as you see, predecessor of 2 is 1 which is written on the left, but predecessor of 3 is written on the left of 3. In the same way, the predecessor of n will be n minus 1. So we may write it as 1 into 2 into 3 and so on to n minus 1 into n. So, if we observe only these numbers, the product of all the natural numbers from 1 to n minus 1, by the concept of factorial, we may write it as factorial n minus 1. And this n is written as it is. So, this is very important property that factorial n can be written as n into factorial n minus 1, which may also be denoted as n into n like symbol of factorial n minus 1. This is very important uh, concept of factorial, which is very often used in the study of permutation and combination. From the second point, factorial n is equal to n factorial n minus 1. We may infer a very important information if we replace n by 1, we get factorial 1 is equal to 1 factorial 1 minus 1 or factorial 1 is equal to factorial 0. This is very important and interesting fact that factorial 1 and factorial 0 are equal and as you know factorial 1 is always 1 because by the concept factorial n is the product of all the natural numbers uh, from 1 to n. Factorial 1 means 1. So we may conclude that factorial 0 is equal to factorial 1 which is equal to 1. Now in this segment we are going to discuss the concept of permutation. So let's define it. An arrangement of a number of objects distinct or identical is called a permutation. For example, A, B are two English alphabets. So if we want to arrange A and B, we have two options. We may write A, B or B, A. So these are the two permutations of these two letters. AB and BA are two 
distinct permutations, distinct arrangement. Further, 1, 2 and 3. These are three null digits. If we want to rearrange these in different order, we may write them as 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. So 123, 132, 231, 213, 312, 321. These are the different uh, new, uh, numbers which are formed with the help of these three uh, digits. So each one of these arrangements is called a permutation of these three digits. Next, we will discuss the notion NPR, number of possible permutations of n distinct objects when r objects are taken at a time is equal to n p r which is numerically equal to factorial n upon factorial n minus r. Other notion, you may write this expression as n factorial upon n minus r factorial. Now in this segment, we are going to discuss number of permutations under some specific conditions. So number one, number of permutations of n distinct objects when all the objects are taken at a time and repetition of objects is allowed that is equal to n raised to the power n for example we have three digits, one, two, three, and we need to find uh, the number of three digit numbers where while uh, repetition of any digit is allowed. So we may write one, one, one as well, which may not be uh, taken under consideration when repetition of object is not allowed. So with a one, two, three, with the distinct digits, we may take repeated digits as well. In the same way, two, uh, one digit may be repeated twice. So we may write 1, 1, 2 and 2, 2, 2 and so on. So in this case, number of permutations is equal to 3 raised to the power 3 because uh, total number of the digits are 3 available and we are taking all the 3 digits at a time. So the total number of 3 digit numbers when digits can be repeated is equal to 3 raised to the power 3 that is 27. So 27 3 digit numbers will be possible. Second number of permutations of n distinct objects when all the objects are taken at a time and repetition of object is not allowed. Is equal to factorial n. As for example, we have three digits 1, 2, 3 and we have to find out number of three digit numbers which don't have any repeated digits. So number of three digit numbers is equal to factorial three, which is equal to six. And obviously, if we try to write uh, these three digits in different order, we may write 123, 132, 231, 213, 
321. That's it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six permutations are possible when the repetition of digits is not allowed. So we may find the number of uh, possible permutations of any number of distinct objects when all the objects are taken at a time and repetition is not allowed by uh, this formula which is equal to factorial n. Now the third case is a number of permutations of n distinct objects when r objects are taken at a time and repetition of objects is allowed then that is equal to n raised to the power r for example if we have five digits one two three four five and we need to find how many three digit numbers we may form with the help of these digits so number of three digit numbers when the repetition of digit is allowed so total number of the digits that is five is number of uh, total number of objects that is n so we have to replace n by 5 and how many digits we are taking at a time that is 3 repetition is allowed so we have to use the concept n raised to the power r where r, n is the total number of the distinct objects and r number of the digits which we are taking at a time so that is 5 cube and 5 cube is equal to 125 so in this condition we can form 125 three digit numbers now fourth case number of permutations of n distinct objects when r objects are taken at a time and repetition of objects is not allowed is equal to factorial n upon factorial n minus r or you may use uh, different notions like n factorial upon n minus r factorial and this expression is denoted by n p r n prefix p r suffix n p r so remember n p r is equal to factorial n upon factorial n minus r the fifth condition is number of permutations of n objects when all the objects are taken at a time but out of n objects p objects are identical of one kind and q objects are identical of second kind is equal to factorial n upon factorial p into factorial q and the same identity is applicable for more than two kinds of identical objects uh, say three kinds of identical objects or four kinds of identical objects as for example the question is how many words with or without meaning we can make taking all the letters used in the word apple so as you see apple has five alphabets that is a p p l e out of which two are identical these two p's are identical so 
if we take all the five alphabets at a time to form words with or without meaning and how many permutations we can arrange them that is equal to factorial 5 upon factorial 2 using the above condition out of five objects two are identical so n is 5 in this case and two objects are ident identical so uh, the p is equal to 2 there is not a second kind of identical element so th that's why we have not taken any other factorial denominator simplifying this we have 3 into 4 into 5 that is equal to 60. now sixth condition number of cyclic permutations of n distinct objects is equal to factorial n minus 1 but the permutations uh, in which the first object and the last object are neighboring objects and those kind of uh, permutations are said to be cyclic permutations as for example the case of garland and a round table for example there are six chairs around a table and six persons are made to be seated then in we can do this so the answer is factorial 6 minus 1 ways or factorial 5 ways and factorial 5 is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 that is 120 so in 120 ways we can arrange chairs for those six persons